Hello guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest analysis for this Monday to Wednesday, July 11 to 13, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday. We still have uh, two low pressure systems uh, to the west and east of our country. The first one, which is now over the coastline of northern Vietnam, and it's uh, quite disorganized as of this time, but it will continue to enhance the uh, southwest monsoon across the Spratlys, Klayan Island Group, Palawan, and western Visayas. Together with another LPA, this is 90W, about 448 kilometers to the east of Kasiguran Aurora, this is around 5 p.m. this afternoon and uh, we have a line of the monsoon trough interconnecting these two low pressure systems that could bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across central and southern Luzon including Metro Manila, Bicol region, Mindoro, Romblon, Marinduque and also eastern Visayas. While uh, the rest of the country will have uh, uh, partly cloudy, cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, mostly in the afternoon or evening. So 90W is uh, still quite disorganized, but it's trying to form as it moves slowly towards the northwest. And it's likely to reach the Batanes area within the next uh, uh, 48 hours based on the computer models. So as of now, 90W has a lower chance of developing in the tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours and it is uh, expected to continue to draw the uh, southwest monsoon across Palawan and western Visayas within the next couple of days. And we are still keeping an eye on the system for possible development into a tropical depression once it reaches the vicinity of Batanes and Taiwan area. The computer models like the European model is uh, remained uh, not keen on developing this system. It will just be a low pressure area traversing Batanes while the uh, American model GFS uh, is bullish enough to develop it into a tropical depression and even into a tropical storm as it moves to the east of Batanes into the eastern coastline of Taiwan within the next three to five days so we are going to uh, take a look or observe the system in the coming days for possible development outside of par it's all clear no further lpa forming we have here two surface troughs or wind troughs moving across the uh, western micronesia and uh, eastern micronesia and on the marshall island area we have the intertropical convergence zone now if we take a look at the fast animation, you can clearly see here the cloudiness generated by the LPA 90W moving into the uh, western portion of the central Philippine Sea while the Bicol region is on the western edges of this uh, uh, circulation. Okay, And the monsoon trough will continue to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across the areas that we've mentioned. And here's the... Uh, Zoom in satellite animation from windy.com beginning at 3 p.m. until 9 o'clock this evening. As you can see, the low pressure area 90W remains over the central portion of the Philippine Sea as it is expected to move towards the northwest, uh, towards the eastern uh, coastal areas of uh, northern Luzon. And uh, we are keeping an eye on this system for further development. Once it becomes active, we'll be issuing storm watches at our webpage, typhoon2000.ph. And we have here the southwesterly monsoonal flow across the Spratly Islands and the Kalayan Island Group and into Palawan and the western sections of the Visayas. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast for the next three days through Thursday. And by tomorrow afternoon, we expect uh, more thunderstorms to occur across Luzon and portions of the Visayas, Palawan, and the Mindanao because of the uh, southwest monsoon and the monsoon trough. The LPA is somewhere here to the east of Isabela by tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday. Wednesday afternoon, we expect the LPA which is moving closer towards the extreme northern portions of Luzon. So the monsoon trough and its outer rain bands will continue to bring rains and thunderstorms in the afternoon of Wednesday across Luzon and also in uh, isolated areas of Nimaropa, Visayas, 
while Auburn Mindanao it's more of a localized localized convection so here it's more of the uh, southwest monsoon a weak one affecting these areas of Mimaropa and on Thursday afternoon uh, the uh, southwest monsoonal flow will shift towards the western sections of Luzon while the uh, LPA 90W is now over the uh, coastline of uh, southern China so uh, localized thunderstorms will continue to prevail on Thursday afternoon across Mindanao and some portions of Visayas. Now if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast through Thursday, most of the rainfall are located across Luzon, Mimaropa, and uh, Visayas with, with some thunderstorms, localized thunderstorms across Mindanao. So this is now the effects of the uh, southwest monsoon and the monsoon trough connected uh, with uh, LPA 90W. Now let's take a look at the wind and, and pressure forecast from the European model courtesy of windy.com. By tomorrow afternoon, the LPA is now approaching the eastern seaboards or eastern coastal areas of northern Luzon as it tries to organize while the uh, southwest monsoon will prevail across the Spotlys, Glen Island Group, uh, Mimaropa, and western Visayas while the low pressure area remains here over the coastal areas of northern uh, Vietnam uh, LPA 99W which is not expected to develop and on Wednesday afternoon the uh, uh, LPA 90W is uh, traversing uh, the Balintang Channel or Luzon Strait passing very close to the uh, Kalayan Island and the uh, Batanes Group and the Batanes group, while the uh, southwest monsoon will prevail across Mimaropa, portions of western Visayas, the Spratlys, uh, including Kalayan Island group, and the western coastal areas of uh, central and northern Luzon. Some light southerly winds will also be expected across the Bicol region on Wednesday afternoon. And on Thursday afternoon, the uh, LPA will dissipate or near the Taiwan Strait, while the southwest monsoon will continue to prevail across the western sections of the country. And so far, that's the latest from our uh, pressure and wind forecast. So, we will return on Wednesday to give you more updates on the weather, particularly the uh, low pressure area 90W. But if it does develop into a tropical depression by tomorrow, we will be issuing right away uh, a special weather TV or special uh, YouTube update on that uh, system. But if not, we will return on Wednesday for more video analysis. Again, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with a wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.